Hey everybody, uh, Fabiola Special Seasoning Mix has three ingredients. The recipe uses five parts thyme, three parts parsley, and one part green onion. If she is making 45 tablespoons of the mix, how many tablespoons of parsley does she need? And then we have to pick from the choices. Whenever you see a bunch of different things going on, different labels, I would recommend making some sort of a chart to organize your numbers. So if we go through I see thyme, parsley, and green onion as, as things that we're using to make the mix. So let's throw in the numbers. We have five parts thyme. We have three parts parsley. And one part green onion. Now the thing that a lot of sixth graders forget is that it's good to add a fourth column here, which would be the total. And then you have to ask yourself, well, how, how do I get the total? It's the total mix wouldn't we have to add up the red numbers? So add up this plus this plus this. So five plus three would be eight and one more would make nine. So that's not something that's intuitive for a lot of sixth graders and a very important part of solving some of these ratio problems. Now, the next thing we have to determine is where do we put this 45 tablespoons of mix? So remember, we can think of parts as tablespoons as long as we keep everything proportional. So let's put the 45 down here because that's total mix. And let's ask ourselves, is there a relationship between the nine and the 45? As it turns out, they are compatible, but you should be asking yourself, does nine times anything equal 45? And the answer to that question is yes. And what's the number? It's times five. So if we do nine times five to get this number, then we should do one times five, we should do three times five, and we should do five times five to get the perspective numbers. So they're interested in parsley. So really the only one that you really need to do is to do the three times five to get this number right here, because that's what they're asking for. So just finish up by multiplying three times five. Now, what would a conscientious student do? They would also multiply five times five, come up with a number. They would multiply the one times five and come up with a number. And they would make sure that these three numbers add up to be 45 to make sure that you didn't mess up. All right, good luck finishing that up.